That's all for now. This is Music Clues signing off. <laughs>
one probably won't be coming, but regular Super Hot is available for you guys to play on Switch. It's also available on Xbox. Xbox for those who are wondering. Um, and yeah. So, oh, uh, uh, yeah, Super Hot is available today for Nintendo Switch, and I will leave a link below in the description. Alright, so, oh, that is super hot. Uh, next up, Risk of Rain 2, uh, which is revealed by Hoppo Games and being published by uh, developers uh, Borderlands Gearbox. Uh, Risk of Rain 2 is, is the sequel to the classic multiplayer Rich Like Risk of Rain, and you get to play with friends or take on the game solo. It is launching this summer... Although, falls on around pretty fast. So, hopefully it's coming within the next couple weeks. Uh, uh, next up, Torchlight 2, developed by Panic Button and Relic Games and published by Perfect World Entertainment, the award-winning RPG. E is launching soon for Nintendo Switch, and it will offer solo eventually or online multiplayer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, it is launching exclusively for Switch, and the Switch version will include a bonus exclusive in-game pen in the form of a pink chubby unicorn. Hmm, interesting. Next up, uh, uh, next up is is East Wild, an adventure RPG. Uh, eventually gave us RPG elements from developers Pixel Pill and publishers and developers of uh, War Groove, Ooh, Chucklefish. Uh, Eastworld is scheduled to arrive on Switch in early 2020, so sometime around the spring, more than likely. Then we have Freedom Finger, Finger from Wide, Wide Right. Interactive. It's a music-driven side-scrolling shooter, uh, and it has 37 levels, so you can definitely take a look at this as well. Uh, this was actually shown off, I think, back at E3, if I remember correctly, actually, or in a previous conference. I can't remember for the life of me, me which one. Uh, but yeah, uh, of course, I will leave a link to all of. The poor press conferences uh, playlist list in the description below, and anything else that comes out of Gamescom, on as well as recaps. So uh, yeah, but anyways, Freedom Finger will be launching uh, on Nintendo Switch, fully uncensored. Hmm. Uh, on September twenty seventh. Yeah, I know. No, when the sun's trying to make October as busy as it can. It can. Sheesh. Okay, so. Oh, next we have another game from the face makers of S. Neo Racing and Fast RMX. X. Shinin. In in Multimedia Entertainment. Uh, sh uh, it's called the Tor West. Yes, and that's Tor Rust with a Y. Yes. Uh, the players will have the chance to discover exotic islands, explore ancient monuments, and climb into deep, deep mines and uncover secret passageways. The Taurus is set to launch, launch a Switch in Pokemon and Star Wars Jedi Starfighters release month, November. Next up, we have Skell Boy, which is an action RPG G, and where players can swap out not only the weapons and equipment, but their body parts too. Ew. But also cool. <laughs> uh, uh, it's set in, uh, it's an accidental reconstructed hero from ancient times. Players were set out, out on an epic journey throughout a vast fantasy world set to a background of rock and chiptone tracks. Scaleboy hacks and slashes its way onto Switch 
on a first December release, release game for Switch, and really in general, uh, uh, on December 3rd. Hmm. Interesting. Next up, developed by Pentagon Treehouse and published by Untitled Label, Ricky is uh action event I mean adventure game game and it is a dark contemporary fairy tale underpinned by a touchy narrative, all in art style, ancient puzzles and atmosphere expo exploration. It is coming to switch sometime this winter. Uh developed but developed and published by VE I probably Mess that name up, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it is a pretty good looking game, I must say. Uh, it is a gravity the fighting game, so very similar to Gravity Rush. Uh, it's a puzzle platformer, paint adventure game, so definitely getting some Splatoon like vibes in there. Uh, about breaking rules, being upside down, and thinking outside the box. 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 Heh, <laughs> I wonder. Uh, uh, I didn't know the new Xbox was called the Box. I'm joking, I'm joking. Bad puns aside. <laughs> uh, physical, with physical puzzles, ferocious enemies, environmental hazards, and more. Alright. Utopa is coming to Nintendo Switch sometime this year. So look forward to it. Night Earth from Cleversoft is a hand-illustrated 2D platformer and is a classic leveler to classic arcade games. games. Humans have been extilled to space, dragons have taken over the Earth, and it's up to a 14-year-old school kid and a freelance photographer to stop them. Uh, what? Okay then. And seriously, these indies tend to blow my mind, but phew, this is on a whole nother level. Uh, anyways, uh, Dungeon uh, Earth Knight will be launching sometime this year on Switch again. Um, Dungeon Defiers Awaken is the newest installment from the popular Dungeon Defiers franchise. Uh, it's the ultimate. Com Ultimate combination of action RPG and strategic tower defense. And you can choose from four unique heroes, join up with friends for up to four player split screen and cooperative gameplay. It's going to be launching as a timed console exclusive for Switch in February of 2020. So we got a first February game too. too. Uh, and then we have Skater XL, which brings the fun, creativity, and culture of skateboarding into the digital world. Old. Hmm. Interesting. Um, a Skater XL will be coming to Nintendo Switch in 2020. And then we have a whole bunch of release dates. So I'll just pop up the Indie World picture, picture again. And I will go down the list. Blasphemous. Launching in September 10th, tw uh, 2019. Close to the sun. Sometime this year. Cat Quest 2. Fall 2019, Splint Fire, coming sometime this year, Tyson 4, or no release date, so to be announced, Creature in the Well, oh, September, si 20, September 16th, I mean, September 6th, pardon, One Finger Death Punch 2, wow, that's a mouthful. Uh, coming out December 2nd. Huh. Literally two, the first two days in December, we have two indie games. Games. Uh, the first one is Skullboy, and then we ha have One Finger Death Punch 2. Whew. Yeah, that's a mouthful. <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, then we have... Best Friend Forever, coming February 14th, another February game. Pangas, coming early 2020. I don't know how to say it, guys. 
What the golf? Literally. Lee, you gotta see gameplay of this. It's, it's literally, what the golf? <laughs> oh. Oh, coming sometime this year. Keen coming sometime this year. Yeah. Hypercharge on box coming sometime this winter. North Guard coming September 26, 20, uh, 2019. Sparklight coming fall. And Munch Crunch coming fall. So, yeah, that's all the announcements. Now, since from today's Indie World presentation. So, thank you, thank you for all tuning in. I really love it, Indie World. I hope they keep the branding for the rest of it, because I really like it. All right, so that's all for the first of the press conferences that we have to co cover. Second up, second up. We're going to be doing Stella Connect. Now, Stella Connect, as you guys know, Stella is the upcoming Google project for gaming. I'm not too keen on it, I'm not going to lie. And neither is the rest of the fan base, but you do you, Google. You, I guess. A sweat drop. And they announced games. Yeah, just games. I have yet to watch the video myself, but it's probably clean and so Yeah. I think I'll save myself some trouble. Uh All right, All right. So we have a list. Uh, now Stella actually has a list of everything that's been announced to be coming to Switch so far. Far. So um, I will highlight any of the new announcements by comparing it. To what Google has tweeted out. So here we go. <clears throat> First up, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Just announced today, and I know this for sure, Attack on two, Titan 2 Final Battle. Which, by the way, if you haven't played the game, go get it, guys. I worth every single cent of your money. What, what, what? I'm not lying. <laughs> uh, then we have Border Gate 3. I don't think that was in the... I think that was just recently announced. Now, st uh, give me a second to double check. Hmm. Okay, that must have been previously announced. So yeah, that was a previously announced one. What it looks like. Then we have uh, Borderlands 3. I believe that was just announced today. Yep, that was just announced today. So that one is one of the new announcements that just came out for Stella. Cyberpunk. I know that was just announced today. Destiny Destiny 2 and Dark Sires Genesis was also just announced today. Destroy All Humans, I think that was previously announced. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Doom was previously announced as well, but now we have Doom Eternal on top of that. Uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, 2 previously announced. Farm Simulator 19, I know that was just announced today. Final Fantasy. Fantasy 15, obviously, just announced. Uh, Get Packed, Ghost Recon Blueprint, God of Monsters, Guild, Guide, Just Dance 2020. Not surprised. Uh, Keen was just announced today. Marvelous Adventures, that was announced a while back. 
back in DC, so I know that one for sure. Metro Exesilis, Mortal Kombat 11 was just announced today. Uh, NBA 2K20, uh, uh, All Must Die 3, that was just announced today. Uh, Rage 2, Re Eyes of the Tomb Raider, Samurai Showdown, just announced today. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Super Hot, The Crew 2, Ooh, Elder Scrolls, Ooh, one of Ethan's favorites, Bumper. Uh, Tom Curry's The Division 2, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, Trials of Icing, Large Dog Legions, which was just not on today, Windjammers 2, which also is coming to PC in a, with Steam as well, and Nintendo Switch. So, yeah. Side PlayStation and Xbox fans, you're going to have to be patient. <laughs> uh, makes me glad I own the Switch. Uh, and finally, Wolfenstein Youngblood. Phew! That was a lot of announcements, so I guess a good lineup, but still not keen on it. Sorry. I Google. <laughs> good effort, though. Uh, okay, so that was all from games, uh, from Stella. Then, and we have, have several announcement, announcements from Inside Xbox. Xbox, yes, Inside Xbox had announced some stuff today, so we will be taking a look at that as well. So let's see what they announced today. All right, just give me a second. All right, so here we go. Oh, okay. So, oh, we got some more games. Ames, cut. I mean, out. Out. Out for Xbox Game Pass. Uh, we have Devil May Cry, Cry 5, and Stella's Console Edition. Since I have my digital physical copy of Devil May Cry 5, now I don't have to even insert so to this, I can just buy a digital. Let's do it digital if I don't have my copy with. So, thank you, Microsoft. <laughs> uh, in addition to that, during Game Console for PC, we have Age of Empires Definitive Edition. So, that's pretty cool. Coming out for Xbox Game Pass on PC, we have 8 Bow. And then Xbox for Console, console PC you see, is Kingdom Come Village. Boulder's Tale, coming from console, PC, and Game Pass, and then... And, uh, Buy a Witch Project, coming from console, PC. And, of course, if you have Xbox Game Pass, you can get there. So, oh, on November 15th and 16th, 15th, there will be EVA. New information uh, on XO, pardon, uh, uh, which is uh, Microsoft's old conference from way back. They hadn't done one, one, but they did one last year, year uh, because uh, the last one they did before last year's years was when they announced Rare. So they're bringing that back. So this year they're gonna have a brand, uh, but. Another, uh, another one of those, and it will be November 15th and November 16th, so be sure to take a look at that. And they will be kicking it off with another Inside Xbox, which doesn't shock me. <laughs> I saw that coming. Just Gears Pop, uh, the free-to-play real-time multi- um, in the Gears franchise, will be set to launch on Android, iOS, and Windows 10 in just three days. So, yeah, as of right now, now, since this video will be up tomorrow, you only have to wait two days now. So, yeah. Control announcement, announcements, we got two. A brand new Night Ops Cameo Special Edition. Edition? And, and a brand new Sports Blue Special Edition wireless controller. They were, uh, they are not, uh...
So, uh, one thing that you got, I just probably didn't know, is that PUBG, why it was originally Xbox exclusive, came over to PlayStation late last year. So, oh, uh, one of the much added things that are happening with PUBG, or Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, for those who don't know what that stands for, uh, announced some season four stuff. Uh, there will be some new famous landmarks. I'll let you guys, I uh, leave, leave, I'll leave a link to the description below so you guys can read more about it. But one of the big things they added is cross-platform play. Yes, yes, you heard me. Cross-platform play, which means you'll be able to play with PlayStation fans. This is the third biggest, third big game that PlayStation fans can play across. Oh, scratch that, make that four, because of that list. So, yeah. Yeah. At the moment, in case you've been keeping track, uh, you can cross-play with all platforms on Rocket League, all platforms on Fortnite, PlayStation, PlayStation, Xbox and Switch, which, no wait, I don't think it's on Switch yet. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, if that list is on Switch, but there's cross -pl a platform for that too, and not PUBG, which is just cross platform with PC and Xbox. Xbox and PlayStation, so. Yeah. It, uh, PUBG Season 4 will launch on August 27th, so that's not too far from now. Uh. Uh, go, well, Ghost Recon Breakpoint point, uh, Ghost Wars mo, a special PvP reveal will be happening uh, will be launching on October 4th so you got stuff with at least spooky treat then we saw a new Wasteland 3 gameplay trailer I will leave a link to that below in the description um um then we have Empire Sin, which was revealed, yield at this. Um, then we have Metro Exodus: The Two Colonies, which me, which is the first extra or expansion for Metro Exodus, and is launching in early 2020. Destiny 2, two, the upcoming Shadow Keep expansion, uh, it will be uh, dropping on October 1st. And there was a whole bunch of other stuff too, so be sure to take a look at it. At it, I will leave a link to the Xbox Inside Xbox video below, so you guys can take a look. All right, and last but not least, least we got a ton of news to go over, including one big announcement I didn't see coming. All right, but hey, I'm cool with it. So, all right, so first things first. Uh, let's drinks first. Let's go over over what uh, I can take a look at on my uh, <laughs> uh, the game over Twitter. Oh yeah, I should mention it. It was being hosted by you know who 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 uh uh Clef K, a holster of the game. So, you guys ready? Ready? So, first, first of tonight, uh, first, they announced that THQ will be e uh, returning with, with a brand new game game known as uh, uh, the return of a classic helicopter simulation known as Comet Act. And it's going to be coming right now at the moment only to Steam. Then they debuted a brand new Gears of War 5 trailer. I will leave a link to that below in the description. Then uh, EA debuted Need for Speed Heat was the very first gameplay trailer for the game. Need for Speed Heat will be coming to... Uh, 
Give me a second. Huh. No date yet. Hey, uh, no date and no announcement yet, but we'll probably get more information later this week, so yeah. Um, then Private Division Vision had just announced Kerbal Oval Star, uh, home. Kerbal Space Program 2, which will be coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox later this year. So, look forward to that. Then, Blend and Amco had just announced Little Nightmares 2, which is coming to all platforms, including Nintendo Switch this time. I'm at launch. Launch next year. Then, Predator was revealed to be coming. Uh, uh, we saw our first look of gameplay for Predator, which is coming to PlayStation station exclusively from the PlayStation World Studios. Studios. Oh, yeah. Then we got to look at Monster Hunter's upcoming expansion. Again, nothing new. Then we have a brand new game called The Cycle, available on the Epic Store. Then Life of Strange, Fa Life of Strange Age Episode 4 will be out later this week, and they just debuted a trailer for it. So I'll leave a link in the description below. Then Sega just announced a new game known as Humankind I'm from Amplist Studios. So let's take a look at that. Then they talked about Will and Sleep. Again, I will leave a link below in the description to all these videos. Then uh, Patrick, uh, uh, CD Patrick Red, Ed, had just announced the Witcher 3 version of Nintendo Switch's release date, October 15th. FIFA fans and, and the Vala ah story mode clip has been shown, so I will leave a link to that below in the description. Then we got our first look from co creator, um, the co creator of Master Chief and Halo. This one was a long time coming, though. It was the first look at gameplay and the first trailer for Disignition. I think that's how you say it. Then, a new trailer for uh, T Dune Aquatics Darksiders. That was shocker. Uh, then, we had a look at a launch title, Grift, for Stella. Then, uh, Bungie came on stage to talk about uh, Shadow Keeper. Shadow Keepers Season of the Undying, which is, starts October 1st. Modulus Games announced the Mother Games. And Epic Store, or just announced, Epic Games announced just quite a couple games coming to the, the well, coming to Epic Store. Including Our, Our World Soulstorm, Borderlands 3, 3, Although that was kind of obvious. And Magic Gathering. Which, by the way, hey, speaking of which, it's Magic Gathering will be coming. Uh, Ma the Magic series is actually being aquatic, I believe, by Epic Games. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Oh, and just now, I just found out uh, that it's coming to Mac OS 2. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Then, we have a brand new, a new thriller, thriller that was announced way back on PlayStation 4's launch, but finally released now. Now, Erica, and it's available as we speak. Yes, it's available now to download on PlayStation 4. So go check it out, guys, and let me know what you think. Then, Port 4 Royale was announced to be coming to Nintendo Switch. Wait, 
which PlayStation 4, Xbox One, on, on and PC later on. Then, Iron Harvest is coming to Steam in 2020 in September. So, take a look at that. Modern Warfare, Fair, Warfare Reboot version, version is getting an alpha this week. 2v2 on PlayStation 4. So be sure to take a, take a look at that. Then, the, and we got some gameplay for Death Standing. So, yeah. And that was every single announcement from Gamescom. Woo! For now, that is. It's, it's possible we'll probably get more stuff later. Later, but for now, that is everything from day one. If we get more bits and pieces here, I'll do a final recap when game comes laps up. Up, but for now, that is all for now. That's why I put day one question mark inside of the phone. Alright, that's all for now, guys. Thank you for tuning into this video. Uh, please like, subscribe. I, you know what to do. Do usually. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, speaking of which, I got two more videos coming up up for you guys that I just recorded this evening. Uh, one is another vlog video for you guys. Guys, uh, me and Ethan return to our mall to do an arcade showdown. Um, <laughs> then, and me and Ethan also make a small announcement, announcement about a personal thing that we're going to be doing. But we'll also have to... Uh, but we wanted to let you guys know anyways, because I think it would be a little fun fun to see what we think, think along the way, because we will be doing the action to this. Alright. Okay. Hey. And now that's all for now. Uh, so, I'll see you guys later on. This is Music Clues. Yours truly, Video Game Duel Meets DJ, Sunday.